Silvio and this is part 4 of my Christmas Village 2022 full tutorial series. Minor changes, big changes, let's say changes. One thing is for sure, this layout here is somehow very different from the one you've seen in the last few minutes of part 3 of this new series. I worked a lot all the night of the, this uh, week on the tracks and on the way to have a gallery, a tunnel and to hide the tracks without losing space, surface for what I want in this year village. Those are all very easy tasks, long, tedious uh, mechanical tasks so I haven't filmed them but it's routine uh, let's say you have always seen me fixing the tracks on the styrofoam I did the same thing all over again then I cut some of the styrofoam uh, in order to have the train getting under the uh, first second slash third level here a quick preview there the tracks go under there and i will explain all i did in my final recap yes it will be a very long final recap but i will just explain very very easy tasks uh, then and as always, I will switch to the other camera. Hi there, up there, how's life? So, uh, it's time to complete or to advance with the making of the new stairs. In the very last few minutes, I already said this phrase just some seconds ago, sorry for that. Uh, I show you my new technique of doing the balusters. Uh, now it is time to put them at work here on the uh, second half of the uh, new stairs. Here you will not have any balusters at all, but here, yes, and also here. Okay, Jay? And uh, uh, so I will try to complete at 90%. 80% because I still will have to paint it and maybe do some work on the lateral walls there. Then what else? I will work a little on the bridge there. Why? Because some of you, and I will always thank you for that, notice that it is a little uh, naked, especially on the uh, lateral sides there. Uh, it miss some uh, railings some hand railings, some railings to prevent people from jumping into the water and try to... I don't, I will not say that, uh, but you have understood me. Um, so I will add there and I will not do an entire restyling of the, um, of the bridge. I will not add the cogs or gears or not, at least not for now, because I will need to see the entire uh, point of view, adding some more things. And then it will also be time to add the first, the very first uh, water features. A fountain, not a fountain, a mix between a fountain and something else, I still don't know. But it will be maybe on the second, maybe on the third uh, level. I will have to think a little bit why I will work on the stairs because I will explain. Then I will also explain the reason of the normal track and this long track you see here. So as I said, Let's go to work and expect a very 
very, 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 very long final recap. Oh yes, the loco. Don't forget the loco. I should tell to myself. Don't forget to talk about the loco. Uh, I will also test the tracks for the first time this season with the loco and maybe the tender and also the, the sorry, it's the wagons because uh, it's time to check if everything will go as planned and this year the train will go clockwise last season it was intended to go clockwise but i had some problems so uh, at the end the train was uh, rolling counterclockwise but let's say i will go like i wanted this season clockwise and uh, Nothing else, guys. Let's go with the stairs. Let's get to work on the stairs and on the balusters and then on the handrail that, I must confess, I still don't know how to do it right now. I need to look at the overall aspect of the stairs with the balusters before deciding on the type of handrail I want to add. I will work so not on this first half section of the stairs but only here on the corner and here all along this side here. I worked on the um, on the balusters there. I have 70 of them and I simply primed all the balusters with my airbrush in plain uh, grey. The same primer I use for my figurines and I primed the balusters. Now they look almost real and not, not, no more colorful but uh, believe me, I think this way is better. So I will use them, and this is very heavy, guys. Look, it tends to bend because the this there, or the little one and the big ones are metal, metal. So very heavy. So the stairs will be much more heavier than mm, usual. Um, primed grey, this is a polyurethanic uh, primer, so it's uh, some sort of plastic and uh, two layers of them. So I used my airbrush uh, first uh, for the first layer, then I waited for the primer to dry, then a second layer of primer. And so Let's go with the with the balusters. Uh, maybe I will put them aside because I will need them there. Working here, each section here is two by two. If I remember correctly, yes, two by two. So let's say. Almost two, okay. Let's say one centimeter.
I will let it dry for some minutes and I will think about the handrails. Let's try a solution here. Here I have one piece of styrofoam and it has a width of 1 cm and 0.6 cm, so 6 mm in thickness. I want it more bendable than the usual 9 mm. Okay, I will go this way. And now let's talk about the railing on the bridge. In the middle of the bridge you have this, not you have, but I have. The bridge is this wide, so it is 6.7 centimeters, okay? When the train rolls on top of it, like that, in the middle, on the rails, you simply have, let's say like that, one centimeter, one centimeter and a half here, maximum. Otherwise, it will be stuck into something I will place as railings here on the sides. If I go with something like this, like this file here, I risk if the train and absolutely the uh, wagons, the uh, cars get stuck, could get stuck on some railings I will put on the bridge itself. So I will go with uh, the railings here on the, on the side. It's like if I was going like this, okay? I will place some railings on some wood going outside the six points uh, five uh, centimeters 65 millimeters okay this way i will not risk the train to get stuck on the railings it is the only solution i should have thought about it earlier and get some eight centimeters 6.5, centimeters of width there, of uh, width, and then I would be more comfortable to have the railing on top of the bridge. But now I need to adapt, as always. Uh, let's remove the uh, loco and the sample. Okay. 
and how will I proceed? I will proceed using some 20 centimeter piece of wood there that I um, I've uh, drilled uh, some ores in them. Okay, those are 20 centimeters as you can see from 10 to 30 here, 20 centimeters. I have nine holes on them. Uh, and I will go vertically then other things. What will I use? So this little piece of wood here, then I will use some uh, nylon rope, okay? And I will experiment with it. And then I will take once again what I used last season, those are our um, sandwich stick use it <laughs> during your cocktails, your barbecue and I use it to stick the sandwiches and to eat the sandwiches I will use them in this way, I will cut off here the little bowl this is not a two uh, I could have left this, the, um, the, the little bowl on top of them this is not quite uh, Victorian or uh, or uh, steampunk is more new age I don't want to uh, damage anything I don't want to to impale someone so this is more Victorian with some uh, sticky point there and the arrow like an arrow like a spear okay and I will proceed with and then cut it in different dimensions and then I will use this little piece of styrofoam as a knife uh, and I just need it as a support for something I will show you so uh, let's go I will need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sticks let's call them sticks okay uh, starting from the middle so 4 in here, 4 here, here 7.5 centimeters in eight, then 6.5, then 5.5, then 4.5, then 3.5 centimeters eight or tall. Okay, so I will go cutting those uh, in the with the dimension I will need. To, to dry. This is the shape for now. Let's go with something else while this and obviously I need to do four of them, not just one of them, but I will just show you one of them. Let's wait. Now Now, some rope.
And now I will try to avoid to glue the rope here, the nylon rope, to the styrofoam. And I will go gently with some super glue on the nylon. Why? If you use some super glue on a soft bendable uh, nylon rope, it tended to harden a little bit. Not as a, a, a rubber band, like I shown you last in part three, but these will help a lot. Good, let's check, check, sorry, yes. 15 minutes, guys, and the rope is not glued here. 15 minutes. Um, let's remove the rope. I need to cut it first. Oops. Okay. It's it will just help me with the task. Yes, it's not very hard, but it will help me. Now. These need to be painted and replicated in... Oh, by the way, why here? Uh, I have used too much glue on the rope, so the rope was completely uh, unrolled in super glue. And super glue, once as dried, uh, it will not uh, glue easily again with some other super glue. And so I needed to wait for the liquid to get very, 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 very sticky before getting the stick here glued to onto the um, onto the rope there. But at the end, the super glue will always be effective. I will paint these pure metallic, as this is metallic. Even the wood here, I will paint it metallic. Then it will go like that on each and single one of the four sections having 20 centimeter of length and this will be the railing and having the two centimeters of space between uh, them you will be able to see the train without problems getting through it ok 
Okay, you can see, instead of moving the locomotive, I will move the railing and you can continue to see the, the train behind the railing. I should have used some more thinner stick, but I risked them to be too fragile and will break during the process. Let, let me just duplicate here four times, then I will go with something more. Uh, maybe I will do an update when all the four uh, sections are, are done. It will take me two hours at least to get everything completed. So see you in some long hours. result of two layers of a mix between <coughs> iridescent, iridescent silver sorry and black black iridescent silver and I wanted this to be as metallic as possible so this is the result two layers on each of the four uh, railings I will add to the bridge uh, and that's it I will wait for them to dry and then I will go ahead on gluing them I still need to paint this little section here this is the end this will go to the end of the bridge in the left side corner of the layout um, left left corner yes left far left corner of the layout because i have a hole and then i will have the supports here and uh, because i need this i will not show you because it is the same technique i use it to paint this one uh, done almost the same thing you will see it uh, once I will be doing the uh, final recap I will show you this and so um, so let's continue with something else good last thing I will show you in this part 4 is the starting of the first water feature. Here I have a food container, I think it is uh, uh, for fridge, yes, fridge food container. And I will use only the base here. So right now I will remove what I will not use. So this will be the base for the, the water container, so the base of the water feature, but uh, I certainly need to paint it somehow. But for now on, let's go and get it where I want it to be, hopefully, okay? Now, uh, here on the left, you can see that I have the final part of my stairs. So this new feature there, the water feature, will be on the right of the uh, new uh, stairs on the, let's say, first slash second level here. And this uh, will need to go under the surface here, will be at level. So I will need to dig at least, let's say, 6.5 centimeters. 
so uh, and then I will this will be two space I think I will go by two centimeters then there so I think this is 19 I will go 17 okay I mark it here and there the two points I will get a square and let's say I will do a 17 here okay I will go this way at 17 here hope you can see yes you are seeing and then this other way here so let's say I will dig here this space here okay uh, it will be useful to remove this one here this panel here and cut through here but I have around there the rail the, the tracks already placed and I don't think I will go that way so I remove gently the stairs then I will remove the panel here okay and then I will go and dig six centimeter in here. Uh, okay, I will get some tool to dig six centimeters. I will certainly do a mess, but I will try. I will try. Okay, better this way. I not dismantle entirely the um, the trucks. So let's see what I can do right now. I will cut. Uh, I will go to the cutting table and I will cut this section here clean properly and then add the supports in order to get just a six centimeter in depth way much better be back soon okay good good decision the one to take the styrofoam to the cutting table and cut i've cut it there and you can see that the cut is almost clean there okay so no mess at all close it in anywhere I will place it back there maybe going the other way good I will just need to reattach a, a little uh, track so now I will close this good now sorry now 
I have a uh, six centimeter from the piece I've cut here. I've just kept uh, one piece of six centimeter, and I also made a little key there. Okay, in order to get it correctly there. And now this is the front. This is the back, or maybe. Let's reverse it, okay. Okay, good. Uh, I need to cut two centimeters in here. There and there. Okay, quickly done. Good. And now there. Okay, I will not fix it because I will need to paint the inside here of the future to be something it's future to be water something okay uh, but i can easily remove it now and get there and this is quite less a mess than having to cut here with some tools uh, with some uh, auto tools uh, i would have made a, a mess now simply need to reattach there the, oh sorry on the corner there the the tracks and uh, i will do my final recap uh, i think it will be yes in just some seconds for you and the well anticipated the final recap the longest ever so let me just start by talking about those two tracks here. You can see that generally I use these tracks here. These are a straight section, 24 centimeters. And they are rigid, okay? But this one, you can see that it is flexible, okay? It can bend, not... Uh, uh, vertically but horizontally you can get let me just show you you can get and make it let me point I will do this way you can see that I can do an arc with it okay um, okay so it can just go straight or not uh, I use a disc tracks here. Those are 90 centimeters long tracks, flexible tracks from Pico. I only use Pico tracks, HO tracks. And I used them last one, last time in nine, 2019. Then in 2020, 2021, I haven't used them. Why? Today, not today, but this uh, week I've used them. And I've used them, uh, let me just remove this section here and this section here in order to let you see. I will go in there. Okay, this gallery, this tunnel here will be the most difficult 
to reach if even the train will derail. So instead of having multiple uh, straight uh, standard tracks uh, having a length of 24 centimeters, I have just two long tracks. So I have a junction in here, a junction in the middle of this long section here, and then a junction on the far side. I will go there. Choo choo, the train is here. Sorry, I'm going very, very, very quick now. And I have a junction, oops, sorry, I forgot something there. And I got a junction right here. So, and maybe this way you can see it, okay? Good, let's go normally. Um, so, the train can theoretically derail on junctions. So one here, one in the middle, and one on the back, on the far, uh, on the far side, on the opposite side. So I've diminished uh, the risk of derailing under this long section here, okay? Under here, uh, if I have any derails here, I can breach it, but I've worked 30 minutes on the middle junction, right in the middle of this uh, long section here, in order to avoid the railings. And having just three uh, junction uh, will uh, surely help. Not, uh, not having a train derailing all, 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 for all the season. Then I'm here, so I will show you. Here, you can see that I left this triangle here before I add this solution here, okay? With a long panel here, okay? And impossible to have the train going under the, uh, here, a wall. So I removed this part here I left this triangle here in order to have some stability between this level here and this level here. Then I made this, this little thing here, and you can see that is another triangle that will be put in like that. And the train have its proper gallery with enough space from the right and from the left to not derail. Uh, why I used this extruded styrofoam and not the expanded styrofoam? This extruded styrofoam is just 9 mm thick as always, but it has a very high mechanical resistance. Let's say, if I take this piece here and I cut just nine millimeters of eight and then I will place it, it will break at any time because there is plenty of space between one and the other expanded little ball here. So plenty of empty spaces, okay? Uh, instead here, I have made possible to get uh, this triangle here and with just nine millimeters of uh, thickness it is very, very resistant to any uh, force I will apply on top of it, okay? But in any case, I've reinforced the structure with trying to place always some sort of getting triangles, okay? Even if they don't get properly connected one and the other, to get a, um, a roof or a, uh, something else, call it something else, uh, a roof or platform, okay, very, very resistant and giving me the possibility to also have, oh, sorry, even in here, then I made the same thing here, 
with these other big section here uh, to have sorry it's not like that these like that guys sorry i've inverted the but here you have the space for the train to go uh, here it is reinforced as i just showed you and once it will get fixed there and then the completion completion here is this little triangle here so i've reformed the exact same structure the exact same surface i had previously with the big 12 centimeters thick panel extruded uh, um, expanded panel but now i will also be able to put buildings on top of this section here having the train easily rolling under it first time i use this nine millimeters panel here to do a gallery it is a very good solution uh, i couldn't make this happen with the uh, expanded styrofoam because i will have to make it three centimeters thick at least but with three centimeters thick, the train uh, will be stuck under it because it, it is uh, taller than three centimeters. So this is a good solution. Yes, problem for the uh, light lights. I cannot have them uh, placed on the uh, platform themselves. You know that you, you know that I dig some holes in the styrofoam have the uh, wires getting under the surface and then connected to the buildings i will have to find another solution but it's still three months ahead okay that time is still three months ahead so this is one solution i've already shown you here all along here and i had the 50 centimeters from here to there with the uh, previous old panel because those panels here i can show you they are 50 centimeters from corner to corner but now here you have a part a section that is expanded uh, styrofoam and the other one is extruded so i have the same exact surface i had previously but with the train going under the surface okay guys and from the other side, it is the same exact thing. And you can see here once again that the tracks aren't perfectly aligned, okay? They have, they, they have uh, some um, curves, little curves, but the train didn't derail it once. I've tested it 10 times with one way, with just the local, with the local plus plus tender with two or three wagons or cars or trolley. And you can see that even this section here have reinforced roof there, okay? So this is the solution for this year to get the train rolling. I will need to uh, get that done. And also this corner here, I just need to to uh, add some uh, some paper or something to close all the gaps but here i will have a complete section uh, allowing me to put buildings even on top of this section here now uh, just 11 minutes to explain what i did off camera guys now uh, you have just seen me doing this and this will be a water feature, yes, but it will be also the first item for, for my team, for the novelist theme, for the uh, Victorian era novelist team. This will be dedicated to one of the novelists, the writers from that era. It will be revealed not in next part because this will take me ages to complete, paint, prepare, the pump, mask the pump because I will need the pump, 
the water needs to be split at least in three ways. So from the pump, the water pump, it will be split in three ways. Very long, very difficult, <laughs> but I always need to get um, a higher level here by here. Then, the stairs, guys. I can get closer. This is the effect of the new balusters and the new and rail. Okay, so uh, I can get closer even from this side, guys. Maybe like like that. Okay, you can see that now that they are of uh, the same color, it's better. I will need to fill those leaders cutting there. I already find a solution. I haven't had time to apply it right now, but I will surely do it in next part. Still a, a way to be completed the stairs, but from the distance to with the uh, balusters. Last season, I had section cut here, then here, then here. I have three or four sections for the end rail. This here, with just six millimeters of thickness, this styrofoam, this exceeded siphon is bendable. So I used the technique of cutting uh, some, uh, um, some grooves into it in order to have it bending, and this will get a more smooth surface without having edges in the... Uh, uh, where the um, the um, different section last season were uh, joined together. Uh, I've left these uh, long tails there because I will need to continue with some balusters, I think, and something else in the corner. So I didn't know uh, yet if these will be there. Maybe I will have some space to the right. Uh, I will... Um, slide it to the left or to the right but not right now guys uh, so uh, that's the stair i don't think the balusters are that awful at all uh, but anyway this is uh, the solution for this season Without any painting, this is awful, I know. I still need to do maybe some bricks on the walls, on the lateral walls, and then all the painting. Uh, this white and the balusters grey, primed, not grey, uh, need to be painted. But now they are much more better than the, uh, the previous ones. I don't know if I had a sample... Uh, right here, uh, let me check. Uh, no, anyway, uh, you have seen uh, them and they were all colored in different colors. Then the here, the support you haven't, I, I've shown you, but wasn't yet uh, painted. Here I have the support for the uh, corner here, rounded, and it will, it, it, it's there, it's joined with the bridge, I still need to paint here, then some, oh, yes, the tracks, I forgot something for the tracks. Uh, normally, the tracks have in the middle some holes, you can see there, some holes to get the pins, uh, here, another, another hole, to get the tracks, uh, um, connected with the style of a more with plywood or whatever you want but they weren't very stable so this season instead and you can see that i have some pins here to get them more stable but i had to dig some holes into the uh into the uh, i have some holes here oops i've ruined it somehow but anyway I, I will turn it upside down. Uh, surely when I use uh, some super glue here on the bridge, I had some super glue getting on the surface. Anyway, I will repair it with uh, some, uh, um, some molding powder and it will be disappeared. I used this little and uh, drill there. Okay, it is uh, and drill and I made some holes here 
to in the uh, plastic of the tracks in order to have more uh, more holes and get them more stable you can see that even if i try they are very stable here i've used only uh, track pins the black track pins they are nothing else than little nails but all along the other section of the tracks i use it sometimes in the holes pre-existent holes the uh, track pins but then i've digged some holes in the um, external part of the uh, plastic there in order to get all the tracks more stable and next uh oh yes what i forgot to tell you here with the railings okay this is another effect and that's why i ruined a little the surface here some uh, um, super glue some acrylic cyano acrylic glue some super glue must have dropped on the on the styrofoam and made those big holes there but as i said i will repair them those are the railings i had here so four of them and they have a length of 20 centimeters as you have seen me doing and they give another aspect to the um, to the um, to the bridge. Now it's no more naked. And if I place J there, you can see it through the railings, having a good effect too. And if I go from the other side, you can see J from the other side. So it's not ruining anything. And I had to go outside because the train would have problems getting there the train guys it is time to test the train and let me just uh, have it uh, for now i will switch on the train oops no Sorry guys, one of the wagons they raided, so I had to replace, to put it in place. So here is the train rolling on the bridge, I will show you once again. Then it goes under the layout and then it will come from the other side. I don't know if I can show you and if you can see it coming, yes it is there and it will come towards us in just some seconds here it comes okay and now i will follow it all along the tracks sorry i haven't right now my gimbal in action but here it is how it will get just two wagons just two trolleys and now on the bridge it is supporting well the weight of the train and the train goes there second round no derailing at all i still miss two wagons two trolley two cars but uh, it's uh, going no without problems it's rolling without problems here it comes once again and also having used some R2 curves this season that have, that have a larger radius improve the stability of the train, okay? And it rolls easily on top of the bridge, the corner, and then it goes under there. So guys, that's... Uh, all for this very long uh, recap i think 20 25 minutes of a final recap but i had to tell you what i did uh, the rest of the layout is intact uh, uh, from past uh, times the train is still uh, rolling guys okay no problems four round four times around yes it's going slowly but if you want i can let me just do something
Okay, now he is rolling faster. You will see once it will come here and it will get there. Here it comes. Yes, it is rolling faster. No derailing even going faster. And it goes there. Okay, see you in just some seconds for the for the outro guys. Thank you. Almost a month into these new adventures, into these new series, guys. And it may appear that I haven't made a lot of work during the past seven days, but it's quite the opposite because it took an eternity to do the supports for the gallery, then fixing the tracks properly, correctly, giving the less possible uh, chance to the train to derail. Um, very easy task, as I said multiple times, so no need to show you. You have seen me doing <laughs> things way more difficult to do in this series. Um, but here it is, the new uh, balusters. Uh, they don't make a good effect right now because uh, light grey on top of white I don't like them sincerely, but I think that the new design, the new design, the new way of doing them, it's an improvement uh, from a last season. And let's see what it will result once the stairs will be finished. The tracks, the train is complete right now. Task check done. Uh, maybe I will add some uh, uh, ballast, I am not sure right now, but let's say check done the train uh, task and the uh, supports and the bridge and etc. The new railings in place and I will go with the other camera guys. The new um, here, the new railings for you guys, you have suggested it, especially Robin have suggested it, but it was right. The, uh, the bridge was too naked as it was and so last addition with this new addition I think it is more realistic that way uh, new technique of doing something yes new technique uh, with the nylon uh, rope here to simulate some metal going uh, in an arc of a circle in the uh, on on the uh, railings and then uh, then the, the starting of the new uh, water feature there here guys and it would be a surprise I think it would be a surprise I think I will shock someone yes I think that I will shock someone when it will be finished. Um, because I've exaggerated, but all the all the four slash five section dedicated to the uh, Victorian era novelist will shock you guys. Yes, absolutely. I'm certain of that. They will shock you. Maybe you will hate me for that. Maybe <laughs> you will cancel your subscription to this channel. But hey, uh, I want to shock you this season, and. It is already too late, it's time to get a shower and then go eat something, especially drink two, three, four bottles of water. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and see you next time, but only. Wish.